Right, so as some people who follow me on social media will know, I have been filling up a notebook with sketches and ideas and experiments every day since we went into lockdown. And that's meant that the sketchbook is now sort of a bit twisted and bent and weird, which is fine uh, because of some of the stuff I've put in there. And I'm now at the point where I want to start um, finishing off, which means attacking, attacking, filling in the pages that haven't been filled yet. So starting from the front and just flipping through of what we've got. The first empty pages are here. Um, uh, on the other side here, we've got what I thought was funny. This, I did this one one day and thought that this would be funny to do as a picture for a second day. Uh, I haven't shared it because obviously I don't think anybody else will find it as funny as I do. Um, but today I thought I would. Uh, last night I did this rat thing. So today I thought it'd be interesting to do another animal. So that if I ever do anything with this, I've, I can pair images up. And I've got two of each. So what I've already done, so that I don't waste time on the video, is looked for a uh, an animal worth drawing. Um, I'm going to just do it on this page rather than the double page. And I'll do a different animal or something different here. I'm a bit worried of drawing on this because there's so much paint and crap. And uh, this white area here is actually the paint that's ripped off this side of the page. So that's not going to be a, the perfect drawing surface. But this one should be okay. And I've already, I went on to the at every bird account on Twitter. Uh, and I uh, just scrolled through. It's just a Twitter account which has got pictures of birds, uh, and it's one of my favourite Twitter accounts around. It's very good. Um, and I've gone for a Regent Honey Eater. So if I can work out how to share that uh, reference with you, I will, but I probably won't. So what I'm going to do now is um, draw probably just the head of the bird, uh, and I'm going to do it the way that I would normally do it, which isn't necessarily the normal way of doing it. I don't suppose there's any uh, real, um, it's not like I'm, I'm, I'm crazy or anything, but um, so I can fit it in, I'm just going to, uh, one benefit of not showing you this reference is that I can sort, and one of, the, one of the things I enjoy about drawing animals is that if it's wrong, it doesn't really matter too much, because unless you're an actual bird expert, you're not going to be able to tell. Whereas if it was like a celebrity or a comics character, then you might be able to. Uh, and I don't even know if this is, if this uh, the blue this blue pencil I'm using um, is showing up on the camera, but hopefully it is. So um, that's sort of the shape of the head. Uh, it's got very interesting feathers on the rest of its body, but I am not going to do those today. I'm, I just I like focusing on the eyes of birds uh, and then just the area around. So on this one, the beak, its head sort of comes down over here. It's got this area of beak there that also comes out like that. And then uh, away from here, quite a long way back. This comes back into the head and then sort of comes out into this area like there. And the, the eye is going to fit inside that. So sort of like that. Uh, it's not perfect, but as I said, this is just to get it's less about making an anatomically, anatomically correct drawing of a bird and more about getting an interesting picture into this book. Uh, and just sort of having some drawing practice. Um, all the experiments I've done over the past few months have been interesting because um, I've just sort of like been messing about and trying stuff out and everything's been low risk. But um, I do want to sort of do a bit more actual drawing occasionally just so that right so that's just so that i've got that skill in there that's going to be uh, enough of a sketch uh, let's try and drag up the camera in case you can't see it probably can't very well um and so i'm gonna use a brush pen which i'd normally use the pocket brush um it might bleed through into here which again 
it's not going to fuss me too much. Um, one way I've found to stop brush pen bleeding through is to put a layer of highlighter down first, but I'm not going to do that today. Uh, I probably will colour around the edges and highlight though. So I'm going to start now with the eye, although I started with the rest of the head before. Let's start with the eye and put in this. You can see it's got the white reflection -y area up there, so I'm going to leave that in. What I could have done, and what I'm often tempted to do, is um, go back in afterwards and use black pen, oh, sorry, white paint pen to put that in, but it actually looks better if you don't. But that is an option if you fluff up, uh, which I probably will. So um, it's got sort of, it's probably a scientific name. But around the eye, birds have this sort of plain skin. So that's on there. And then it's got this particular bird has like really lumpy skin around its eye. So it's got an area of sort of pale skin here. And then this is all lumps. And I'm not drawing in actual lumps. I'm just, uh, it, like, I am drawing in lumps. Sorry. But these aren't, I'm not, it's not accurate. So if you put these pictures side by side, there'd be clear differences. Um, again, because I'm just trying to do a nice picture, not necessarily a correct picture. Although that is a muscle which I should probably exercise as well, sort of an accuracy muscle. Um, but not today. Also, the fact that I'm sat. Yeah, I'm <laughs> how I'm sat at the moment isn't necessarily how I'd normally sit to do a drawing because I've got a camera in my face. All right, so this comes up here. And then beak comes out here. And it's sort of a downward turn there, sort of a grumpy bird. That comes out all the way there. And comes all the way back to there. And then this is sort of the fluffy bit here. And then it comes down like that. And then the top. It's, uh, it's not actually as squared off as I made it there. I'm going to cut across and then come down here. Got a bit of a lump there and then into the body. Okay, right. And then, so what I like to do now is pick out areas on the animal, which I've actually made them a bit chubbier here than they actually would be in real life. Um, nothing I can do about that now. Okay, so pick out black areas without kicking the stand, if I can help it. So the underside of this beak is black. In, it's, in, it's black anyway, but it's in shadow. And then under here is black, and then um, under here a bit. This bit here is in shadow and comes up around there. Some tire in here is it's got a bit of a movement there. Perfect. Uh, the screen I was using for reference has just switched off. We go it's back, and then it's got it's not quite like this. You just throw some black area in here, and then under here. And down its neck. It's also got one here, blum, blum, and I'm going to define this area here a bit more. Right, so what I'm going to do now is move away from this brush. Let's see if it has gone through. Yep, it has. We've got the, uh, you can't actually see it on the camera very well, but there's the ghost of a bird poking through all that orange. Right, and now. I'm going to fill in the rest with 
uh, thinner uni pin brush pen because uh, it's quick today um, other times I might not be uh, in as much of a hurry but I'm recording a video uh, so I'm gonna move a bit faster than normal and my plan here isn't again it's not to be totally accurate uh, and you'll notice what's going to happen in a minute is that I'm going to get much less accurate when I just start um, pretending. I'd, rather than draw the feathers in, I'll just do shapes which suggest where the feathers would be and where the, the curve of the bird is. So I'm just going to spend a bit of time on this lumpy bit around the bird's head. And... It's got a row of lumps come down here. A bit there. Mm -hmm. Put some smaller details in there just to sort of. Okay, then uh, this isn't great. <laughs> I've done better. Right, um, and then let's just put some shapes in for the, where the feathers that will be going. So I come all the way down here and then around this area is where its neck ends and its body starts. Its body's actually got these little diamond white shapes on it. So I'm going to put a couple of those in. Uh, and then around here the feathers all bunch up so it's a bit darker than usual so I'll put those in this brush pen is on its way out that's a pity um, it's, the, the nib of it's breaking quite a lot um, let's go right into there it's got just the makings of some shapes here around here Ooh, don't know what I'm doing and then I'm gonna put the just keep on putting sort of um, line. <laughs> I'm gonna keep on putting on lines which will make a drawing and that's what I was gonna say um, I'm just going to put some lines in so that we know where the feathers are going. The feathers bunch together around the back of its head. Um, I, I don't know if you can tell from the way that I'm filming this, but it's um, this uh, this pen isn't giving a consistent line. And uh, that it just happened here. Um, here it's put two, you can't see it, but it's put two lines in instead of one, which is annoying. Um, but I've started, so I'll finish. I'm just going to layer these up. It's actually going to be quicker than I intended it to be. What I'd sometimes do is um, sort of make, square off the shapes a bit and make them more mechanical uh, just because that's how I like to draw so I'm going to try and fake that now but because this brush is the nib is looser than I would normally use it's making that harder to do um, right let's get right in there Right, so this, it, the feathers are sort of the same distance apart in this area of the bird's head, but uh, there's some light shining on them and they actually work their way up around like this. How are we doing for time? Okay. I just want this to be a 20 minute drawing.
uh, and there's not a lot to say right now. So I'm going to pause the video, uh, finish off this body, and then I'll put some color around the edge. So I'm just going to pause now. Um, I'm just sort of leaning into the fact that this nib keeps um, not doing what it should do uh, and letting it um, just letting it do it. Okay, so uh, I'm sort of happyish with that. Um, happyish is about right. It's not ideal, but it's good enough. Oh, what, what I've forgotten to do is put the date in up here. It's actually the 17th of May, 2020. And the number of the drawing, which I think is 64. And put that in the corner. Um, one thing I am going to do is just go back over some of these areas with a heavier pen to put some extra shade in and I also want to, even though it hasn't got it in the actual bird, um, fill in the bottom of this a bit. I don't know why I've done that. Oh, you bloody... <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a very good idea. So I'll just do this and then Square off around it. Uh, okay. I am going to... What am I going to do? I'm going to add some colour in. Um, so, let's see how this works. I'm definitely going to put an expansive colour around it. Um, and I'm going to use this colour. Okay, so that's the pink in. Uh, it's a bit rough, but that's fine. Um, th the other thing I'm going to do, I'm not sure it's a good idea or not, is that I am going to colour in some of the rest of it. Now, I quite like this drawing. It's not perfect, but it's not imperfect. But I'm still going to go ahead and put some more colour in. So I've put some pink around the eye. Um, this bird has, it, the, the area around its eye and up its beak is yellow. And then so are its, its plumage back here. So I'm gonna put some yellow down here. I'm gonna colour this in and I'm doing it fast because I regret doing it. So if you're doing something you regret, do it as quickly as you can. Um, there's a little life lesson for you. So it's got that yellow bit there and it's actually got some darker colours. So I'm going to add some of this in there. It's not dark enough to make a difference. But it's going anyway. And I'm actually going to have to go over some of these lines in another pen to bring them up now that I've coloured over them. That's fine, and then I'm gonna do. Uh, am I going to do it? Am I gonna color the rest of it in blue? Yes, I am, but uh, I'll save you that. Okay, so I've gone through and I've used this sort of pastel -y blue highlighter pen to color in the bird. It doesn't look too horrendous. Um, one thing that doing that has done is take away some of the highlights that were in there. So I'm just going to use the tip of this chunky Posca to try and get some definition back in the top of this beak. I don't know if it's going to work. Let's put that in there. Let's just put another couple of spots in just to show where they would be. I absolutely do not want to overdo it now. Okay, that's fine. So that's it.
that is a Regent Honey Eater-ish. Thanks for watching.